She said, well, this is an amazing place. I'm sorry, I stole your line about having sense to stay out of the rain. That oh, was your line. No, li no I just, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stay in out of the rain. You go to it, girl. But oh. you, your job's bigger than mine today. No. I'm just here enjoying all the stuff that we I've been working on for years. Yes, you have. <laughs> yeah. And people have been able to enjoy it for years. And this is really a family that you have here. And I mean this it sincerely. Is. I've been here before. And to see everybody come together, what has it meant to you? to know how everybody has banded together here at Dollywood during this time. Well, I think it's amazing how our crew has done all the things that they've done last year. We, of course, like everybody else, we did, we were open on a limited basis, but everybody was so great to practice the safety rules and all that. But uh, the people here are like family. So anytime you have a crisis of any kind, you just kind of pull together and get it done. So people always brag about the staff here at Dollywood. This is our 36th season, by the way. 1986, it all got crazy. started. And who's been here from the very beginning other than yourself? Miss Johnny, who's back there. Hey, <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> We've got all kinds of people that have yeah. been here from the very start. And I loved in the piece she said that you're not her boss. We're all co-workers here. We are. Yeah, we're partners. Family. Always. That's the way I'm with my band. I don't have, you know, I don't even have. We're just all partners here. It takes us all to make it work. And it does. And there's a reason why they call Tennessee the Volunteer State. And it was neighbor helping neighbor during this time and really banding together. And you all did your part too. I know that you all helped out in making masks and other things for for the workers. Oh, we do everything through Tennessee and certainly Dollywood and all the people. We were available to anybody for anything uh -huh. and uh, we still are. So we're not out of it all yet, but hopefully we I can kind of feel a new energy and a new Can't excitement. You? Just feeling like I could come home and say, hey everybody mm -hmm. and thank you for everything. Cause it's like you said, it's last year since I was here, since March. We came up here last year mm -hmm. to open the show and that's when they closed everything down. We got up here, we were going to have a big press conference. We didn't even get to have it. So I, I just walked off that bus. They said, no, we're closed down. So we're locked down for a year. So this is my first time back. So it's exciting to see all the new things we've got mm -hmm. for the Flower and Food Festival for this season. So we've got a lot of things to be thankful for. Yeah, so that Food and Flower Festival, because last year you had to scale it back and you had to delay it. But it's in full bloom. No, it no is. pun intended, yeah. but in full bloom. It is, and it's kind of like the Rose Parade. Every single thing on the park, all the the, right. the big uh, statue and thing of my mom doing the coat of many colors, all those things, as we mentioned, are all, all those little colors are made out of little flowers. And it's just millions of flowers all over this park, and it's amazing how they can do all that. Uh, it takes a lot of time. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. What did you feel when you saw it for the first time yesterday? I was really emotional, I and I took a lot of pictures because I had seen the brochures of it, and I knew what it was supposed to be. But just seeing that whole thing, knowing my life as it's turned out, and thinking mm -hmm. about my mom, and just having that big thing there that represents who I am as a person, who my parents were, and the kind of mother that I was lucky enough to have, and that that little coat has carried me so far. It's kind of like a little signature thing. It's like it's my life has been a life of many colors, not just the coat. Right. But I really, it's very uh, significant to me. But just seeing that whole thing with mom, so and that, and just yeah. made me grateful. I think a lot of people can relate to the season that they've gone through with the pandemic and, and everything like that. And were you able to spend more time with family? Were you able to do things that you possibly could not have done before, work on some well, things? Well, I think you do, because I've always been one to, to be going everywhere all the time. Yeah, I know. But we had to be so very limited. I don't have children, nor grandchildren, but I have a lot of nieces and nephews. Mm -hmm. But most people are pretty much having to stay in their own homes and do whatever. But I managed to uh, do a lot of things, because I have my own little studios and things. So I was on social media all the time, reading books to the children uh, through the Imagination Library. And uh, I was creating all kinds of songs, you know, about the pandemic and yeah. trying to lift people up and be spirited and got to be with as many of my family as I could. So I just used the time to keep working. Yeah, yeah, that's Trying what you, that's, yeah, that's all you've known. <laughs> yeah. and, and keep doing it like that. And thank you, and, and Vanderbilt thanks you, and the world thanks you for the contribution that you made with vaccine research, and it really was a, a help. And you, and then that storytelling, those, those, um, those, your imagination library, which, do you know, two million books a month, two million books a month you donate, 
And what is it about reading that really speaks to you? Well, I really think it's important, as you do, I'm sure anybody out there, if you can read, you can self-educate yourself. Yeah. And you're just lost if you can't. And, and actually, you know, I'd started that whole program for a lot of my relatives, and my dad couldn't read and write, but he was so smart. And I just started the whole program, you know, for the county here and have my dad involved with me. But then it turned into this wonderful thing, and we've given over, uh, we're, we're heading toward, like, 200 million books. We were like 150 wow. million, and we're going on up now. We're hoping in a very short time that we're going to be doing doing that. It's been 25 years, I guess, since we started it. But I just think it's important for children to learn to read in their very early years, yeah. to learn to love books and all that. So I'm just so proud to have been a part of anything that's good and that's making life a little better for people. You exude today. that. And every, all the little ones call you book lady. There's the I'm book the book lady. My dad took great pride in that. He got to live long enough to see the Imagination uh -huh. Library doing well. He got such a kick out of them calling me the book lady. So, well, yeah. well, we cannot wait. You too. I'm like, I know. I know we're I'm like sitting out here in the rain. <laughs> we both got tissue in our waistbands. <laughs> but we don't want to do it on television. No. So if we're shining, let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. <laughs> well, she's going to be singing for us, but I got to give a shout out to Kelly Harper, the head coach of the Tennessee Lady Balls, yeah, we're who's glad back to have out here. there with her, some of her players. So it's wonderful how many people have made the, the effort to be out here with us. But we're going to be cooking and we're going to be singing. So we got a lot more from Dollywood ahead. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.